Okay, so welcome back. And so we're gonna do an example of end behavior. This is gonna be really easy um, because again, this goes back to really algebra, but we're putting uh, limits uh, to the task. So um, you can see where this is going, right? So because we kinda, limits is the formal way of dealing with this, even though we've dealt with this in college algebra, uh, using it as a thought process, right? Uh, so let's look at this one. So what we want to do is for each one, they want to find the limit, right? So we want to find the limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x. Oh, let me do it this way. Okay, so that's what they want us to find. Okay, so now notice here, x, right? So this is a polynomial with a degree of three, so it has an odd degree. And the leading coefficient is negative. So let's put it together. So for end behavior, odd degree means that the tails are going in opposite directions. And you couple that with the fact that you have a, a negative leading coefficient. So that means it has a general downward trend from left to right or a downward slope from left to right. So it's going to look like this. Something like that. Okay. So that means it's going down to the right and up to the left. So so the answer, as the x goes to positive infinity, f of x is going to go towards negative infinity. And as x goes to negative infinity, the limit of f of x is going to positive infinity. Now, what about this one? Well, this one has an even degree polynomial, so the leading term is even degree. So that means the tails are going in the same direction, either both up or both down. And the fact that the leading coefficient is positive means that they're both going up. So that means it's going to have something like this. Okay? And so that means as x goes to positive infinity, the limit is going to positive infinity. As, the limit, as x goes to negative infinity, the limit is going to positive infinity. And that's really it. That's it. So technically we would just say the limit, right? So if you really, if you wanted to, again, if I was doing this on a homework assignment or something like that, I would just write it out, okay? So in this case here, I would say uh, the limit as x approaches infinity of negative 5x cubed is going to be negative infinity. The limit as x approaches negative infinity of negative 5x cubed is positive infinity. And then here for the second one, the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x to the fourth equals positive infinity. And the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 2x to the fourth is equal to positive infinity. And that's the way I would write it. But all you're really using is our knowledge from algebra and the fact that polynomial functions are differentiable everywhere, continuous everywhere. And so you're able to take the limit. Have a great day.